Hello everybody, this is Stream Gamer back to kick off round three for group C. Ooh, we got some lovely matches to go through here. Some in pivotal matches, I feel. I, I, feel, I feel like we might actually see, well, technically you could say Heady and Engineer Gaming from the previous videos got basically through, but they're not 100% through, but I feel like we could actually see someone 100% go through and 100% book their place in the last 32. And this will be the match that could decide it. At first, we will see Random Shy Ghost taking a Cracker Ultimate Dino King. Then we will see Iron Dan going up against Seven Shots. Now, this is this is the match that could determine whether these one of these two books their place in the last 32. Because if Seven Shots gets defeated, that would pretty much put the the winner of this matchup through. Just just saying, just saying. And anyway, we have another match, Moloch Horridus taking on Balazos. So, yep, as I just said, pivotal matches in this group, and it could shape who finishes where. So, let's go on with our first matchup, which is between Random Shy Ghost and Ultima. Alright, in the red corner for Random Shy Ghost, we have Spinosaurus. Hmm. I don't seem very quiet. Oh well. <laughs> it don't matter, I don't need to hear the bloody gameplay, only you do. Okay, as for Ultimate Dino King, in the blue corner we have Kranosaurus. Ultimate Dino King on quite the run at the minute. You know, this is stretching back to my last tournament. I think he's on like eight or nine wins in a row. Absolutely insane. Can Random Shy Ghost end his winning streak? Or can Ultimate make it an unprecedented tenth win in a row? This is stretching back to my last tournament, by the way. I can't even remember the last time he lost. It was definitely in the group stage. Well, with a start like that, Ultimate will be extending that winning run. Ooh, but the Aqua Vortex getting triggered there. Ultimate Dino King, the tournament favourite. Ooh, but the Spino does get the hit. Random Shy Ghost respond there. Oh, it's a green impulse! Ultimate Dino King responding there, green impulse imminent. Of course, Random Shy Ghost could have done with that tie last round, he would have got off Aqua Vortex. Boosh! Missed the timing though, missed the timing. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, that's a tie. No green impulse this time though. Another tie. Oh, the Spino's down. And this is this is might not be good for Random Shy Ghost because the next Dino is Stegosaurus. And well, put it this way: this Steg has all Earth moves, and it has the tight disadvantage against our Karanosaurus. So, as powerful as its crit is, I don't even think a crit's gonna kill it. Karanosaurus. So, ultimate. Definitely has a good opportunity here to tighten his grip on this match. Well, one way or another, someone's winning streak is ending. Ooh, it's an earthquake, but as I said, look how much damage this is going to do. A pitiful amount. Pitiful amount. Yeah, look at that. Random shy goat, although I think a crit would now kill Karanosaurus. So a crit, or two, oh, speaking of crits. Oh, he doesn't get it off. Oh, it's Green Impulse. Another Green Impulse coming from Ultimate. Extending his lead. Well, this is not good for Random Shy goat. But, you know, he has taken some damage, but it's not... Too much damage. Oh, there's another earthquake. However, this will not be enough to kill the Karanosaurus, but it will leave it one hit away from being killed. Oh, oh, it does kill it. Oh, okay. Oh, I think this Stego is Hunter type, I think. Yeah, that's probably why it killed it. But anyway, my error of judgment there. 
As for ultimate second, I know we got Super Turkey. Random Shy Ghost not taking... Well, took a little bit of damage from that Coronasaurus, but didn't take too much damage. Ultimate wasn't able to pull away too far. Still within touching distance, and one crit puts Random Shy Ghost in the lead. Oh, it's a tie. Ties favour ultimate though. Oh, the Takia gets the first hit. I would say, I definitely think Random Shy Ghost has got more hits in this match than Ultimate, but Ultimate has made better use of this. Alright, that's one. So Earth Barrier coming in as well. Going to make life even more difficult for Random Shy Ghost. And another hit from the Tark. Okay, yeah, I think Ultimate's going to be winning this match. He's got the Earth Barrier. He's got the Tech Boost, so he, he could probably get off Sand Trap during Ties. He's still got the Awaken Mode. And he's still got his Ace in the Hole, the Alpha Acro Boost. But, for Random Shy Ghost's third Dino, we do have the Might of the Megalosaurus. And uh, he's going to need to get some secret moves going here. Otherwise, Random Shy Ghost's winning start is going to be ended. Come on, then! Ooh! Just what the doctor ordered, but oh wait, I forgot Earth Barrier. <laughs> well, it got off a Psychic Bind, which is cool to see, but the Earth Barrier is going to limit the damage. Okay, that's twice. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, he didn't get it this time. <coughs> oh. oh, wait a moment, wait a moment. Don't know why I'm coffee this morning. Well, this is it. You know, it's win or bust for random shy ghost. He either gets this next hit or he loses the match. And he's losing the match. Ultimate Dino King getting a bonus point win. Wow, Alpha Acro yet again not needed, and I think, given the fact there was a bonus point win for Ultimate, I would probably say that is Ultimate Dino King through. Should the set this next matchup between Seven Shots and Iron Dan goes Iron Dan's way. So yeah, let's not dilly dally, let's get on with that match. And as I said, it's Iron Dan taking on Seven Shots. <coughs> Alrighty then, in the red corner for Iron Dan, we have an Aranosaurus. Well, kind of glimpses of what he can do. The Dino Stuffer will definitely help Iron Dan, though. Avoid the crits. But yeah, will we? Will this Aranosaurus pull through for Iron Dan? It's going to be tough, because in the blue corner, we have the powerhouse for seven shots, the Sorofagonax. Although, it hasn't been much of a powerhouse so far for seven shots. Despite having the lethal death fire, which could help Seven Shots win this match. Um, I'm gonna, I, I'd probably say Seven Shots does have the slight advantage in this match. Looking at the matchups, I think Seven Shots does have the edge here, but I've said that in every match that's involved Seven Shots so far. And well, the first one certainly didn't have the edge. The second one was much more like it. What will this match get present us with? Well, so far it's presented us with times. Another time. Oh, seven shots gets the first hit. Yes, I should point out a win for Iron Dan here. We'll put Ultimate Dino King through to the last 32. Well, he'll be, he'll be about 95% through. And let's not forget, Ultimate still has to play seven shots. Ultimate will be seven points clear of seven shots in four if Iron Dan wins. Oh, it's the Dino Stuffer. Stopping seven shots, taking a 1 0 lead. Bing, bing, bing. Oh, there's another tie. Iron Dan yet to get a hit. And well, I think that tie's going to finish off around a source and seven shots races into a 1-0 lead. Well, it was all ties so far and seven shots has only got off one hit, so, you know, been an even match so far. The only difference being, as I said, 
seven shops getting that one hit. Right, as for Iron Dan second I know we got a Kakirodontosaurus. Yes. This Kakirodontosaurus, we have seen glimpses of what I can do and it has been quite effective for Iron Dan so far. It did well against Ultimate and it did well in the first matchup as well. Against Random Shy Ghost. Oh, but the Sorrow fucking Axe. Living up to its expectations now. Seven shots on top. Well, Iron Dan hasn't got a hit yet. Till now. Technique boost coming. Could this be what Iron Dan needs to get back in the match? Oh, it's a volcano burst. Sorrow Faganax gone. Ooh, a timely volcano burst there to kill the Sorrow Faganax and even the score. But here comes the beast that won it for seven shots last time out. The Pentaceratops. And I would say that I suspect this Pentaceratops will kill the Kakirodontosaurus, which means that seven shots could have a tight advantage against Iron Dan's third diamond. Oh, oh, my humidifier's gone, if you can hear that beeping. Yeah, seven shots gets the first hit. Oh, wow, it killed it. Okay, wasn't expecting it to kill it. Well, as I said, here's our tight disadvantage now for Iron Dan, the Spinosaurus, and I think Ultimate's going to have to wait till next round to book his place in the last 32. Although, as I said, he's, he's pretty much through. He's not going to get knocked out now. Three wins is enough. Eleven points will be enough. He's about 70 I'd say 80% through. Iron Dan wins this, and I'd say he's 95% through. I mean, I'll have to double check all the calculations in that first. Which I'll do off camera. Okay, that's one. Uh, the awaken mode's on three. Ooh, Iron Dan getting another hit. I mean, it's not going to do much damage, because it's got the type disadvantage. But, you know, a hit's a hit, I suppose. And Iron Dan does need to get some hits on the board. It's twice. Yeah, it's twice. Ooh, another hit coming from Iron Dan. And it's awakening in time. Although, this will suit seven shots, because after this, he will guarantee himself a losing bonus point. Oh, it's a tie! Pentaceratops going down! And that could change everything. Because if Iron Dan can get a crit on the, off on this Anata Titan, he will win this match. And seven shots will be denied the losing bonus point. Well... All of a sudden, Iron Dan with a chance to win it. Can he snatch this match? A Futaba Cannon might even do it. Oh, he snatched it! Iron Dan has snatched it! I'm genuinely speechless. How has Iron Dan won this match? A twist in the tail. Seven shots getting defeated. Denied the losing bonus point. And that is that will also put Ultima Dino King through to the last 32. But what a win for Iron Dan. You've got to take a bow. Take a bow, sir. The power of the Awakened Mode, proving key. Well, that, that, that is that, absolutely insane. Absolutely amazing. I mean, not if you're seven shots, because you, you kind of felt screwed over. But look at that, the power of the Awakened Mode there, helping Iron Dan get a massive win. And could that be a turning point? Could Iron Dan go through? Could Iron Dan be the only naughty toddler to go through? Just have to see, won't we? Well, after that win, he's actually on positive points. So he's definitely given himself an opportunity, a massive chance. 
And I would say the upcoming matchups do favour him. So, yeah, I think it's on for Iron Dan. As for seven shots, well, didn't quite happen. But, you know, they keep performing like they did. They have. They will, they will go through. And they, and they do have the bonus point win from last round. So, it's still anyone's game. But that definitely opens up Group C. Unless you're the Dino King, who's basically already through. Alright, on to our final match of this round video. And that sees these Balazos going up against Moloch Horridus. Well, let's be honest. I think we're all still recovering from the insanity of that last match. But, in the red corner, for Moloch Horridus, we have the Thai Specialist, the Sychenia. Well, we definitely saw the damage it can do in the first matchup against Seven Shots. Didn't quite happen for it ne in the next matchup. However, in the blue corner for Balazos, we have a Gojirasaurus. Again, hasn't happened yet for Balazos, yet to win in this tournament. And given the results so far, I think he really needs to get a win on the board to put pressure on his rivals. Although it has been quite a tough start for him, taking on, taking on the champ first. And then going up against seven shots. So it has been a tough start. But I feel like this is very winnable for Balazos. But it's also very winnable for Moloch. A win here for Moloch would really cement his place in the top two. Oh, we're starting with a tie. Ooh, interesting. Because the Gojirasaurus is charge type. But ties do favour the Cychania. And there's the tiebreaker. There's the tie bomb, and there's the crack. What a start from Moloch. Oh, well, um, Gojirasaurus is dead already. It was quick, wasn't it? Well, quick as a way, Gojirasaurus dispatched. Moloch Horridus racing into a 1 0 lead, and I think it's going wrong again for Balazos. Alright. As for Balazos' second dino, we have a Pentaceratops. Yeah, this has been a very tough group so far for Balazos. Doesn't really shone yet. Two massive games coming up for Balazos, though, against... I think it's Random Shy Ghost they gotta play yet, next. And then a massive game against Iron Death. Oh, is a tie. Oh, it's another tie. This is all favouring Moloch so far. Ooh, but the Pentaceratops gets the hit. Ooh, and what is this? It's the Lightning Axe. Good hit there by Balazos. Normally, the Cychania would have the type advantage over the Penta, but it doesn't have any super moves, so it will not have a type advantage. Well, that's the end of Cychania. Balazos getting back in this match with another hit. And it, and it didn't take too much damage, so yes. Well played by Balazos. Okay then. As for Moloch's second dino, we got the green little pest from Germany. The Lillian Sterners. I think it was excavated in Germany. Yes, yes it is. Well, was, I should say. This little green pest has caused nightmares for its opponents so far. Will it cause Moloch? Will it cause Balazos nightmares? Was a tie. Quite a few of those so far. Ooh, Lillian Sternus gets the first hit. Decent damage there. Moloch extending his lead. Ooh, but Balazos getting the hit back though. Dino Illusion getting triggered. No lightning access time. Oh, oh, random number generator to be an arse again. Ugh. I hate it when it does this. Alright, give me a sec while I refresh the page and everything. Okay, we're back at it. And we are back at it with a tie. <laughs> Not surprisingly. Oh, it's another tie. Yeah, that's Pentaceratops. Duh. Ooh. Okay, now Moloch could have a clear advantage here because for Balazos' third dino we got the Super Karifasaurus which will have the tight disadvantage 
against that go against our Lillian Sternus, but as we saw in the last round, one hit in the awaken mode for this Karifasaurus can change everything. So don't count Balazos out yet. Well, it's got to get past this Dino Illusion first. Okay, Dino Illusion is gone. Lillian Sternus' protection is gone. Karifasaurus getting that hit. Okay, that's once. Better double check the Awaken mode. It is on three. So the Awaken mode will be triggered on three. Oh, but it's big, big Mayfly. Oh, how big could that be? Moloch Horridus landing a major blow on the Karifasaurus with Lillian Sternus. Oh, look at that. Wait. Oh, it's a, no, it's a Cyclone. Cyclone there. Yeah, I think Moloch is going to win. The clear advantage now. Ooh, but the Karifasaurus does get off a hit. And it's an egg attack. This, I don't know if this will kill the um, Olivians. I don't think it will, but you never know. No, I didn't think it would. There's the pointless technique boost. And it's awakening time. Well, this is it, isn't it? This is it for um, Balazos here. Needs to get this hit. Oh, it's a tie. That will favour Balazos, though. The Lillian Sternus going down. And the awaken mode will be staying. Oh, my God. Is it going to happen again? <laughs> I think it's going to happen again. All right. As for Moloch's third dino, we've got a Spino Tector. Can this Spino Tector survive this crit from the Super Griefosaurus? I would say no, because Super Griefosaurus... Put it this way, Super Creeper Swords, I think, has a better crit than the Spino did. And it's got Super Impact. So if it gets that off, this Spino is not surviving. Oh, it's not going to get it off. Oh, but it does get off a tie. Oh, it didn't get that. Oh, it did that with the Balazos. It might survive, it might survive. <laughs> Just survived. Balazos clinging on by a Fred. Well, that Fred's just been severed. It's a power drain. And, well, I, I don't really need to click the buttons because this Karifasaurus is going to die. Yep, there it is. Karifasaurus is dead. Molochoridus. I'd say avoiding the scare there, the Awaken mode, to get a win over Balazos. And poor old Balazos, it just... It is just not going their way so far. And I feel like they're probably going to get knocked out of the group stage. You know, I would like to see them get at least one win in this tournament, but it's going to be difficult. But yeah, that's enough about that. Wow, what a round that was. That was absolutely amazing. Well, not if you're on the losing side of it. If you're on the winning side, then it was absolutely amazing. But right, let's look at the table and we can end the session. Well, look at that. Things looking up for Iron Dan. They're only four points behind Random Shy Ghost. And they have yet to play Random Shy Ghost. Actually, no, they have. No, they played them first, didn't they? <laughs> Tee -hee. But yeah, Ultimate Dino King right on top at 11 points. And yeah, seven points clear of seven shots. And nine points clear of Iron Dan. That's Ultimate Dino King through. Yeah, that's Ultimate Dino King through. I'm pretty convinced. Molochoridus in second place there, getting that big win over Balazos. And then we have Random Shy Ghost in third, suffering their first defeat of this tournament. And then we have Seven Shots in fourth. After that, shock, well, I'd say shock defeat. And then Iron Dan in fifth, getting a massive win there. Giving himself a real opportunity to get through the group stage. And then poor old Balazos. Oh, I forgot to update this thing. It really hasn't... It really hasn't happened for Balazos so far. And I hope they get a win on the board eventually. But it's going to be, as I said, it's going to be difficult. Okay, let's see who will be playing in round four. So, round four, we'll see Iron Dan going up against Molochoridus. Balazos taking on Random Shy Ghost. And then Seven Shots going up against Ultimate Dino King. 
some interesting matches. Like, out of these lot, who do, well, Ultimate's going through. Pre I'm pretty convinced Ultimate will go through. Who will join him out of this lot? Looking at the matchups, I am... I, I don't know. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a really tight group. I can tell I can tell you that all these groups are gonna be tight. But yep, that's enough for the, that's enough for today. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and and ding the bell to make sure you don't miss out on future tournament videos. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer signing out.